everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video, an updated one. I haven't done this, ooh, I think my last one was like two years ago. I don't know, all I know is I haven't done one in a while. And I got a new bag, and I love it, and it's super pretty, beautiful. And I got this from ASOS. It is the Fiorelli Mia Small Grab Bag with envelope detail. And it's absolutely gorgeous. My mom actually wanted to buy me a new pocketbook for moving away and for <laughs> leaving my old job. She was very, very proud of me for kind of taking the leap, so she wanted to treat me to a new purse because I hadn't had one in a couple of years. But I absolutely love it. And first, I'm going to kind of talk about little details. And as I already said, there is the envelope front pouch, which I really like. It has two uh, handles and then a big handle. It can go over your shoulder. Sorry if I'm looking over there. There's a woman who's taking pictures in my backyard right now. And I live in a condo, so it's fine. But anyways, this is going to be really awkward if she sees me filming. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Well, anyways, it also has one zip pouch in the front and another zip pouch in the back. They're both smaller. And then it has the main zip pouch, which is where I keep the majority of my stuff. So I'm going to start with the front zip pouch. And in there I have this cute little notebook. It is from Sugar Paper in Los Angeles. I got it at Target. And it's kind of like a daily planner and it has like a huge section for notes which i really like and it has this little pouch here so i can keep little odds and ends in i don't yet but i feel like i should start keeping like receipts and stuff that i actually need to keep in my bag that are kind of like paperwork type stuff and then i have this paper mate ink joy pen in pink and these are my favorite pens it's something about like this triangular design like way of holding it I don't even know if you can see that it really fits nicely into my hand and I like how smooth they write they're my favorite pens if you haven't tried it you have to try it it's like the best thing ever and you can get them for super super cheap I got that in a set with a whole bunch of different colors and it was like three dollars so it was awesome and then in the back one I have the book that I'm reading right now which is the good girl by Mary Kubica Kubica I might be saying this completely wrong but it is so, so good. It kind of follows the story of a woman who was kidnapped and it has the before and then after, but none of it is through her. It's broken up into parts through the eyes of her mother before and after, through her kidnapper before and after, and through the detective who works on her case before and after, which I think is a really cool way of showing what's going on through everybody else's eyes besides her. I have only gotten about three quarters of the way through it yet, so I don't know if we're gonna get something from her, but I really, really enjoy it. It's the kind of suspenseful book that doesn't make you feel like you're about to pass out. Like, in the exciting parts of Girl with a Dragon Tattoo or the Millennium series, I would be like, oh god, what's happening? But with this one, it's just like, it's just really interesting and really enthralling and it definitely keeps you reading it and I really, really love it. But now back into the main portion of my bag. I have this wallet, which is also from ASOS. It is the Herschel Supply Company Thomas wallet in washed mango, which I really love. They call it a purse, but here in the United States, we call them wallets. So it has this little like suede tie detail, which I really love, gold hardware. And then inside, it has some pockets. I really love the lining. It's like a white and red striped lining. It has a couple places for cards on both sides. And then I keep my money in there and I keep my ID in this middle portion because it doesn't have like a little ID holder thing, which I'm completely fine with because I find that those make it harder for me to get my ID out. And usually you need to get your ID out in a hurry, you know, when you're at the door of a bar or something. 
So that's my wallet. And then I have this little change purse, which is BCBG. And it says change on it. It says in transit, which I think is really, really cute. This came in a set that I got a couple of years ago. I have chains and a receipt in there. And since this doesn't have a change purse, I keep this around with me. It doesn't have any space to keep change in it, which I'm fine with because I don't really like keeping change on me anyways. I have it in this little box and I roll my change kind of as soon as I get it because I get a lot waitressing. So change floor. And then I have this pouch which is from the Rebecca Minkoff collab with Ipsy and it's so cute. It has pineapples and ferns on it and it's kind of in a rever infrared? Infrared? Maybe? Where it kind of reverses the colors of things but it's kind of like that but not really I don't know but in here I keep some lip things and I've actually pared down a lot on the lip things that I usually keep in here so I have two chapsticks I have the Burt's Bees Island lip balm with passion fruit I love this one it used to have SPF in it but it doesn't anymore which makes me kind of sad but whatever and then I have the Burt's Bees rose tinted lip balm and this is a lip balm that I have with me every day either in my pocket or in this little purse thing if I'm wearing a lipstick then I'll keep it in there but this is my go-to chapstick and this is a chapstick that I've repurchased over and over and over again and it's my favorite chapstick of all time it's completely amazing and it's a really good dupe for the sugar rose chapstick or lip balm we're fancy so we don't call it chapstick we're coming into sugar territory and then I have this lip gloss which is the NYX butter gloss in fortune cookie I really love this color it's a nice nude for someone who's pale oh, and it smells really good I don't even know what it smells like just sugar cookie happy time and then I have the Stila lip glaze in kitten which is just the prettiest shimmery pale color and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and then I have whatever lipstick I'm gonna be wearing that day so today I have on the ColourPop lippy sticks in Frenchie and this color has just like saved my life I'm obsessed with this color it is the perfect matte to where it definitely stays put but it's not drying it doesn't really drag it's just it's a really nice matte red kind of like an orangey red and I really really love it next I have this little sunglasses case and I got this at Aerie and it is a whole bunch of kiwis but with pink instead of brown fuzzy bits and I really love it my nickname when I was little was kiwi so I saw this and I was just like I need you right now in my life you are beautiful and I love you and inside I have these J. Crew sunglasses which I had in my last what's in my bag I absolutely love these sunglasses they frame my face really really well and they make me feel very glamorous and cool at the same time and they're not too big they're the perfect size for my face and I love that they're gold and tortoise shell but I love this little sunglasses case I just think it's so freaking cute and it's so summery and happy and I love it uh, next I have a hand cream and it is the yes to coconut protecting hand and cuticle cream this is amazing this has saved my hands and saved my hands throughout the winter mm, and it smells so good it actually smells like coconut oil not like synthetic coconut crap but it does have a little bit of the synthetic coconut crap scent to it but just enough to make it smell a little bit sweeter and not so like food like even though coconut is food just a little bit more like a beauty product as opposed to something that I'm gonna eat but I really like it. It's mostly natural, which I appreciate. There are a couple of things in it that aren't completely natural, but you know, come see from some. I don't make too big of a deal over it, especially when it saves my hands completely. I get mild eczema on my fingers in the winter and when it's dry outside, so I still have a little bit on a couple of my fingers, and this has just absolutely saved my life, and I love it. And I got it at Target and they put a stupid sticker on it and now I don't know all the ingredients but I looked them up online because I'm an ingredient freak. Next I have a tiny little travel deodorant. This is the Naturally Fresh Deodorant Crystal, the natural travel roll-on. Fragrance free, paraben PG free, and hypoallergenic. It's just a teeny little rollerball deodorant. Occasionally I will forget to wear deodorant and this tides me over until I can get home from work but after that I am a little bit stinky natural deodorants just don't completely work for me. I am a sweaty girl and 
Normally I'm not stinky, but I feel like these make me stinky. I don't understand it. I don't get it at all. It's a very strange thing. But delving further into my bag, I have a bottle of ibuprofen. I always get the Up and Up Target brand liquid gel ibuprofen because it is the only one that works for me. And I always carry ibuprofen in my purse. Just always. It's like the mama in me. I like to have it for myself if I get a headache or if I get cramps or something. And then I also like to be able to offer it to people when they're not feeling too great because, like I said, it's the mama in me. Next I have another one of the Inkjoy pens. It's a black pen. I always have more than one pen on me because I like to be prepared. And you can't always fill out documents in a pink pen. That pink pen is kind of to go with my little planner. And then I have a black official looking adult pen for anything that I might have to fill out on the go. If I have to fill out anything that's important and not silly pink pen approved. Next I have this little travel mirror, which I'm going to try not to blind you. I did a pretty good job at that. Um, it's double magnified, so you have the regular magnification, then I think it's a 2x magnification. And I got this at Ulta. They were doing like a breast cancer month thing and you could donate X number of dollars and get a little prize and I think I donated five bucks and I got this mirror, which was cool. I would have donated anyways, but it's always nice to have a little extra something something. Oh, and I have a lipstick that escaped the little bag. This is another ColourPop lippy stick in Lumiere and it's amazing. It's a perfect like purpley nude for me and I think it's really cool. I probably won't get that much wear out of it in the springtime because I like to go with more poppy colors but definitely when we get towards the fall again I will be popping that on. Then last I have my keys which has way more stuff than I need on them. I don't belong to the Y anymore. I don't belong to LA Fitness. This is like the oldest American Eagle All Access Pass ever. I don't even think they look like this anymore. I have like a little gem thing which used to have something that said hope dangling from it but apparently I lost it. I have three keys that, no, four keys. Four keys? Yeah, four keys that no longer work <laughs> to any of the homes that I would enter into. So those are my keys that need very badly to be updated. And then I have some pay stubs in here, a receipt from Target, of course, a business card for Diane's hair because I need to get my hair cut like ASAP. You can't see it, but my hair is like ridiculously long at this point and these ends are just super dead. And the fact that my hair is out of frame because it's so long tells you how long it is. So yeah, that's my bag and I have been seeing people doing these all over the place and I feel like whenever I'm planning on doing a video that's like a repeat of a video that I've already done or you know kind of a common video it's like everybody's doing it and I'm always like dang it but hey maybe people will be searching for it and they'll want to watch me do mine as well so I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bag video, my little updated version. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you did like it. And leave a comment down below with what else you would like to see me do or what else you think I should have in my bag or what you think I should take out of my bag because I have too much shit in my bag. I will see you all next time. Bye!